In late 2008, we introduced two new vaccines in South Africa, the pneumococcus vaccine and rotavirus vaccine. And because they're new vaccines, and because they're, for each of them there's only two suppliers, there's not much competition. So, you know, you have to pay a premium. Well, there's a good reason to, sp to spend that amount of money. There are four major causes of under five mortality in South Africa, and pneumonia and diarrhea are two of them. The other two are severe malnutrition and HIV and AIDS. So it's a no-brainer if you want to reduce under five mortality in South Africa, if you want to meet the MDG goals, you have to do things like introduce the two new vaccines. Now, of course, we would like to have cheaper vaccines. So what we have done, we have introduced these vaccines with the two-year tender. So once they expire, we then enter into new sets of negotiations with the suppliers. And we've done that very successfully with Rota, for example. So Rota vaccine now has significantly come down with the new tender. And we will do the same with Pneumo. Uptake of the new vaccines in the Eastern Mediterranean region has been successful thanks to government in the low-income countries. And high-income countries, they are already able to afford these vaccines. But when we look at the middle-income countries, we see that the uptake is much slower. And many of the countries, they are not able to introduce the new vaccines yet. With respect to poor procurement, uh, it is clearly in our interests as members of uh, SADAC, the Southern African Development Community and the African Union, to purchase with other African countries all commodities, you know, whether they are drugs, whether they are vaccines or whether they are surgicals. Uh, we have had discussions around this over a number of years, but key to that would be harmonization of regulatory procedures, harmonizations of protocols, harmonizations of EPI schedules, and the rest of it. So this discussion is ongoing. I think we're in danger of seeing some real differences in equity emerging um, between and within countries in the next 10 years. Uh, I think a lot of this has been due to the kind of policies we have been pursuing. Um, and I think the real challenge now for the global health community is how to deal and address with this because ultimately vaccination is here to protect all children.